Hello everybody and happy Wednesday. This is Say I Do Forever and I'm Krista and this is Jay. Take 50. Take 50. We keep doing this. Yep. It's been a blast. <laughs> so we're doing a seven part series on Wednesday for newly married couples and mm -hmm. engaged couples. Um, this is the second one of the seven part series. Uh, seven signs that you are ready to get married. Are you ready to get married? Here's number two. You have begun to think of your partner's needs more than others. If you are thinking more about your partner and what you can do for them, it's probably time to get married. If you're already married, these steps can help you actually to have a better marriage. So it's not too late. Absolutely. So tell us the six signs of uh, more ways to know that you're more selfish. selfish. Okay, so we got six that are unselfish. We have six that are on selfless. Um, so number one is you make more time for just you. Um, the problem with that is marriage is about togetherness and spending time together, not apart. Um, and I'm not talking about when you say, just give me five minutes. Mm -hmm. All I need is just a break. I need five minutes. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when you go with your girlfriends or your guy friends and you disappear all day and your future spouse is sitting at home wondering where is my partner in life, my future partner, um, where, where is he or she? That's what I'm talking about. Um, you've got to get the mindset that you need to not be all about you. Um, and again, I'm not saying that you can't take five minutes or a half hour, or hour, or a couple hours, but you should want to be with your spouse. Mm -hmm. You want to add anything? Yeah, I think, you know, today's society, we, um, we do um, think more about ourselves. It's, and it, I think it's a response to abuse that yes, in an abusive situation, you do need to think about yourself a little bit more and take care of you and everything. But what that's carried over into is in relationships, when you're thinking more about yourself um, than your spouse, uh, it's, it's a recipe for disaster. Right. So number two is actually, uh, you know you're more selfish if you tend to need, tend to your own needs more than you do uh, for your spouses. So you're more apt to um, tend to your own needs first. Yeah. You... Um you so focus on you that you leave your future spouse in the dust way behind. Mm -hmm. um, you're like, well, I want to I wanna go to the bar and hang out with my buddies, or I want to go get my nails done. You know, if it's the, the gal, um, I want to go to the spa. I want to go do this. I want to go do that. Mm -hmm. You know, when you get so consumed about making it about you, it's, it's, a, red, it's a, a red flag. You mm -hmm. know, it really is. Um, I get that people want to pamper and get foofy and do their own thing. I, you know, I get that, but you also need to realize that there's going to be another person now in mm -hmm. your life that you're going to need to be with and not treat your marriage like two single people living together because it doesn't work. Yeah, you've got to change that single work. mindset, especially yeah. if you've been a single person for a very long time. You're used to taking care of your needs and making sure that you are taken care of. And now when you're ready to get married, you're thinking about somebody else. Absolutely. And number three, you give more thought to yourself, kind of along the same lines, um, but like you um, think about what... Like if you're making dinner, you think about what you would like to eat. Um, if you are um, going, you want to go out for the evening, you're going to think about what restaurant you like or what events you like. Um, so you're just always thinking about what you like. Yeah, and maybe you need to think, okay, so what does my future spouse like to eat, number one? Where would they like to go? Um, you would not believe sacrificing what you want to do for your spouse means the world to them. Mm -hmm. I guarantee it. Um, when Krista and I do that for each other, 
it means the world to her. Mm -hmm. It means the world to me. Um, if she says, you know, let's go, let's go out uh, for Mexican food, you know, because she knows that's my favorite thing to eat. Hers is Italian, you know, go out to an Italian restaurant. Um, it just speaks volumes when you put your, your own wants aside mm -hmm. and go do something that your future spouse wants to do. So number four is you don't want others' validation. In other words, um, explain that a little bit more. So you are so about yourself when you're selfish that you don't need anybody giving you their opinions or um, uh, trying to think on how I can put this. You just you have it the way you want to do it and that's it that's law you aren't going to listen to anybody basically mm -hmm. you, you don't care you, about other people's opinions and exactly yeah exactly you mm -hmm. don't care about anybody or anything basically mm -hmm. um, and that's another dangerous place to be especially if you're thinking about getting married or you just got married so mm -hmm. i mean that's something to steer clear of yeah. you know and be careful. Number five signs that you are selfish. Um, number five is you don't feel guilt about it. You have no guilt. Yeah, you're no gone remorse. all day. You have no remorse. You're gone all day. You're hanging out with your buddies. You're hanging out with your girlfriends. And you really could give a crap less. It just doesn't matter to you. Um, that's not a good place to be. Mm -hmm. Because if you're starting it now, uh, a month in, six months in your marriage, it's going to be even worse mm -hmm. and then the fairy tale will end and then you'll be you know not married anymore yeah <laughs> it could be and sometimes our selfish you know? um selfishness can hide in the dating process so yeah. um somebody can act more selfless but really you need to have a a deep like um just soul searching whether your motives are unselfish yeah. um, because that's going to help your marriage. Yep. Um, so number six is you don't need any pointers. Kind of similar to validation, yeah. um, but you don't need any pointers. You don't want anybody's opinion. You don't want anybody um, giving you advice or... Um, yeah, like you know it all. You've got it handled. It's all you. Um, you've got this all figured out. So you don't want to hear anything from anybody. Or you actually feel offended when people give you advice. Yeah. How dare you tell me how to be when I know it. I know what mm -hmm. I need to be doing right now. I need to be taking care of me. And most likely, if you're watching this video, this isn't you because you're here listening to advice. Right. So you are probably the opposite. All about marriage. <laughs> advice about marriage. So. Yeah. Yeah. So now we get to go to the good part. The six signs you are becoming selfless. And this is where you're gonna have an awesome marriage. These little tips. Um, so number one, you think about others' needs above your own. So even though you would want to have time to yourself, you end up having time with your future spouse or your spouse. Um, best feeling in the world is hanging out with your best friend. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't get any better than this. I'd rather do this all day long. Um, and even if you didn't like the restaurant, you go to it anyway because you know it's your spouse's favorite. Well, or... and not only that, but if she's there, I want to be there. So, so if we're there who cares together... Who the food's bad? <laughs> well, it's just not your favorite food. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because you get to spend time together. And that's mm -hmm. what it comes down to. And that's what it's all about. Yeah. So that's... So if you're finding about. yourself kind of searching for what they need, or if they need quiet time, or if they need to get out into public, if they need to go dancing, or like our other video, if they need to go on a picnic, you do that. <laughs> Here we go with the picnic thing. <laughs> We will be having a picnic, and we'll take the video. We'll take you with us. We'll take the video with, yeah, exactly. Uh, number two, um, t 
to know that you're becoming selfless is you make time for your future spouse. So you make time for them even though you feel like you don't, time is valuable. Time is a huge gift. Um, we only have 24 hours in a day and for some reason those times are shrinking. Yeah. I feel like um, there's less and less time during the day. But you know you're becoming more selfless when uh, you're in a rush and you're trying to maybe get out the door or something and your spouse needs to talk to you and you stop and you listen and you talk to them. You know you're becoming more selfless. Yeah, you, you've got to make time for them. It's, it's critical. Um, they have a chance of becoming very bitter and angry if you don't make time mm -hmm. for them. Um, I highly suggest mm -hmm. that you make them a priority in your life. If you're watching this, you, cho you chose to be married. You chose to be in a relationship. You chose to be with that person. So if that's what you chose, then you should choose to spend a lot of time with mm -hmm. them. Because they have the potential, if not already, of being your best friend. So number three, you know you're ready to get married if you get joy from meeting your partner's needs. So do they need something? Um, maybe they got a flat tire and you rush to their rescue, um, which you've done a hundred million times. Yep, and they've um, done that. <laughs> maybe um, they need you to give them a hug. Maybe they need you to listen. Yep. Um, what are some other things? Maybe they need... Um, Just your attention sit and watch a movie together mm -hmm. maybe they just want to watch a movie together maybe they just want to sit on lawn chairs yep you know in the backyard and just hang out and just talk maybe just talk about the future but you get joy from from actually um seeing their needs fulfilled yeah so you know if that wells up in joy in taking care of them you're yeah. ready to get married or if uh, you get joy in that and you're married, that's going to be a long marriage. Yeah. You've, you've got a, a lot bigger success rate mm -hmm. if you see that it brings them joy mm -hmm. with spending time with them or doing whatever they want to do. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all about being selfless, not selfish. So number four of the signs that you're ready to get married is that you find yourself validating your partner. Yeah, I mean, you've got to, um, you know, pay them the, the compliments. You know, make them realize that they're very valid in your life. Um, you care about them. You know, mm -hmm. they are so important to you. Um, you cherish them. You find them incredibly amazing. You know, make mm -hmm. sure that you are always validating them because you don't want them to feel you build invalid. Them up. Yeah. It's all about a self-esteem booster too, you know. If you if you can get in the habit of doing that, it's going to benefit your mm -hmm. future marriage, your marriage, you know, or whatever. And I'll tell you a quick little story in the Here midst of this because this is where he is really really good. Um I, when he met me, I was an insecure little 17 year old and um, just unsure of myself, unsure of um, that I was any good in the world. And between him and his mother constantly telling me I was good and him through the years um, even pushing me forward in some of the things that I, my talents and saying, you're good at that, do this. Right. And even to the point of finding contacts for me. And I don't know, he just did a, he was a great cheerleader. And so um, he was very selfless in always lifting me up, even though that meant that he put me higher than himself. And so he did a very good job of that. So if you can be a cheerleader, validate and um, encourage and lift up your spouse. Yeah, be an encourager. Yes. You know, give them compliments. There's nothing better than hearing someone compliment you. Yeah. I mean, it really raises the self-esteem bar, especially if you're feeling down that day or whatever, too, and maybe somebody else was negative or mean to you. 
and then you've got your future spouse or your spouse, you know, kind of a, like she said, being your cheerleader. Cheerleader. You know, be on, be in your, in your corner, be in your, on your side. Yeah. Be on your team. I mean, that's what it's all about anyway, you know? Yeah. And so if you find yourself kind of being a cheerleader to your partner, um, you're probably ready to get married. If, um, if you're already married and you are encouraging them, you are going to make it be a long lasting uh, relationship. So number, what am I on? Number five. And it goes along with validation. Um, is, uh, you compliment and embrace your spouse or your future spouse. Um, so you compliment and embrace them, which is validating, um, but even more. You compliment, we just kind of talked about that. Yep. Um, so uh, I would say also embracing their, um, their fa- failures or their weaknesses too. Yeah, you can always, you can always say, you know what, it's, o- it's gonna be okay, you know, mm-hmm. that didn't work out for you, but you know what? the next thing you try Mm -hmm. it'll be great you know let's let's stay focused and on the positive side of things and not dwell on the negative yeah you know the sky isn't falling you know Mm -hmm. it's gonna be okay exactly you know so number six our final uh, sign that you are becoming selfless is you seek the wise counsel from other married couples and here you are watching us so you're doing it yay And, you know, we're not the most perfect couple, but we have been married for 33 years and together for 35. And, you know, we've done it wrong and we've done it right, so we've got some good advice. We've had plenty of mistakes along the way. And there's probably people in your life that are the same. Uh, you know, couples that have been married for a longer time that you can get some good advice from. And so you know you're not being selfish, that you're selfless if you are open to accepting um, criticism and yeah. uh, encouragement and yeah. you know um, them helping you yeah. to make a better marriage. Yeah, it. it um, so if you're watching this video, congratulations, you're probably selfless. Yeah, and that's <laughs> a good place to be, especially if you're thinking about getting married mm-hmm. or if you just got married yeah. or if you've been married for a long time too. But I was gonna say, you know, um, her and I have made plenty of mistakes over the last 30, even the 30, 33 years married, 35 together. Um, we've made plenty of mistakes, but with that, we've had a lot of successes. Um, we're not perfect. Mm-hmm. We're not going to claim to be perfect, but we love each other. We're there for each other. And we hold each other accountable. Um, and we're willing to correct yeah, absolutely. Like when we are wrong and absolutely. do it wrong, we're willing to pick up the pieces and yeah. work a little harder and say we're sorry and, we're, and we're, forgive. And we're not, we're not afraid to admit when we're wrong. Yeah. You know, we'll come to each other and say, you know what, I was wrong. Mm-hmm. You were right, I was wrong. And when you humble yourself to your spouse, that's, it's going to mean the world to them. Mm-hmm. And last but not least, what's selflessness looks like it's it is it does not dishonor others it is not self-seeking it is not easily angered it keeps no record of wrongs and that is first corinthians 13 5 and with that we will leave you today and we hope that you guys have a awesome wednesday yes and for until our next video i'm krista and this is jay Jay, and we're helping you say Say i I do do forever. forever Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.